Hi students, Miss Beth's coming to you from my library today this weekend to help you with theme and message in I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings. So we have a couple documents that we're gonna be working with today. It's going to be our text, I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings. It's going to be our theme and message list, and it's going to be our assignment. So these three documents uh, we should have open. I would suggest having theme and message open in Canvas and the other two open in iBooks. All right, so first let's start with a quick review of theme and message. So theme and message is whenever you're looking at a literary text, a story, and you're determining what the author was trying to communicate to the reader. So themes are the big overarching ideas. They're usually one or two words, such as friendship, hope, perseverance, nature. The messages go along with them, but the messages are going to be much more specific. So they're going to be a piece of uh, moral that the author is trying to communicate, or perhaps it's going to be a piece of advice. Um, so they're very similar, but they work together and they are a little different. So in your themes and message list, in either Canvas or iBooks, we color coded a couple of these just to take a look. So the theme, big overarching idea, good versus evil is a theme. The power of love is a theme. Self-discovery journey is a theme. And then the messages go along with them more specific. And there are multiple messages underneath the theme that work with it. So for example, good will triumph over evil is a message or friends are a person's most valuable possession. That would be the message that goes along with the theme power of love. So what we did together in class was we went through this entire list and we starred anything that we felt went along with our text, I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings by Maya Angelou. And what we discovered was there's at least 20, some of us found like 33 different themes and messages that can go along with this particular story. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So every single student in the class could have a different theme and message and you could all be right as long as you're describing why. So we then for our assignment, had to choose one theme and one message from the text that we thought was relevant. So here, um, this is your assignment. It says directions, choose both a theme and a message that you think are present in Maya Angelou's I Know Why the Cage Bird Sings excerpt. Then find and cite three section of text that supports your choices using MLA formatting that we learned uh, the past week. Finally, explain how those details you pulled from the text support your theme and message you chose. All right, so let's scroll down to the first page. The first page says, use the theme and messages list and determine a theme that is present in I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings and write a sentence about theme. So remember, theme is the overarching big idea. So any of these bolded bullet points, good versus evil is a theme, the power of love is a theme, self-discovery journey is a theme. You have pages and pages to choose from. Um, and again, there is no wrong answer. As long as you can explain why, then you're good to go. So over here, I think I'm gonna choose um, compassion as my theme. So over here in my first box, and you pick whatever you want that makes sense for I Know Why the Cage Bird Sings. Over here, I'm gonna start with just a sentence on theme. So I'm gonna put a theme present in I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings is compassion and then just give us a little bit of a description explaining why this is a theme in the text because this flowers kindness is what helps Maya grow. 
through her struggles. Okay, something like that. So now I have a description. Now I have a description of just theme in that first box, just theme. Now remember, along with theme, we have a message and the message is much more specific. This is longer, this is the moral or the, the lesson that the author is trying to communicate to the reader. So here I have two options. We should work to alleviate the suffering of others or a small moment of kindness can change someone's world. For me, I feel like both of these are relevant for I Know Why the Cage Bird Sings that we read together. I kind of like this second one a little bit more so I'm going to use this one. So now in the second box, I'm just describing the message. The message is present and I know why. Caged bird sings it is small moment. This kindness can change someone's world. Now I'm gonna do a little explanation of why. This message can be seen with the change via experiences after your time spent. This is flowers. Okay, so now I have one message that is specific and goes along with my theme in my second box. All right, so those first two boxes are just coming from you, from your brain. You're not quoting anything from the text. You're just explaining one theme and one message that you found was present in I Know Why the Cage Bird Sings. And again, there are 30 different options. I mean, you have pages here to go through. You could choose anything as long as you can justify why. So once I've found my theme and message and I've detailed that out, I am ready to move to the text and find some evidence. So anytime you have a box that says quote, that means you're going into the text and you're looking for something that goes along with whatever it is that you chose um, earlier for your theme and message box. So I chose the theme of um, compassion and the message of um, a small act of kindness can change someone's world. So now I'm going to go into the text and I'm going to find an example of compassion or kindness changing someone's world. So for me, I think one of the small acts of kindness that was really special in this text was when Mrs. Flowers baked cookies for Maya Angelo, and it really did change her mood just that day yes but also in the long term it showed that someone cared about her and it changed her perception of life so i'm gonna go in here and i'm gonna find a quote i like this one here i made tea cookies this morning you see i had planned to invite you for cookies and lemonade so we could have this little chat that little act of kindness that moment of compassion is going to change maya's world so over here where it says pull a quote in mla format i'm going to start with my lead-in we're using mla so remember the whole dance we did and we dissected mla quotes and you have notes on that we always start with a lead-in and that's our own words introducing the authors so my lead-in is going to address my theme and kind of lead into the piece from the text so here i'm going to put a quote from the text that shows the theme compassion and the message, kindness can change someone's world is comma, quotation mark. Comma, always after our lead in, quotation mark to introduce author's words. So now I'm jumping over here. So see how I have a quotation mark here because someone's speaking. Remember when we use quotation marks inside quotation marks, the inside ones turn to apostrophes. So now I'm gonna put my apostrophe 
And now I'm gonna take the text over here and drop it in here, author's words. I made tea cookies this morning. See, I had planned to invite you for cookies and lemonade. So we could have this little chat. Get to the end of the author's words. See punctuation, kick it out. I'm gonna do my apostrophe to end the dialogue, my quotation mark to end my quote. And then remember we do our citation. So it's gonna be author's last name, Angelo, space, page number. So this is page one, two, three, four, five. So I'm gonna put five there. and parenthesis period. Okay, so now in this box, I went into the story. I found a piece of text that showed my theme, which my theme is compassion, and my message, which my message is a small act of kindness can change someone's world. So I found a piece describing Mrs. Flowers baking cookies, making lemonade for Maya. That compassion is going to change her world. So in that first box, I pulled my quote. I have my lead in, comma, quotation mark, dropped in the author's words, got to the end, saw punctuation, kick it out. Then I have my end quotation mark, parenthesis, author last name, page number, and parenthesis, period. So that's what your quote box will look like. Then in the next box, it says, explain in your own words how this particular quote supports your claim about the author's theme and message, and I know why the caged bird sings. So here I'm just using my own words, my own brain, and I'm explaining how does this quote about making cookies and lemonade connect to my theme of compassion. So remember, this box is not a summary of the quote. The person has read the quote, they know what the quote is. You're not summarizing it, you're explaining. How does this support your theme and message choice? So here I'm gonna say something like, this quote shows that kindness and compassion can change someone's world because and then I'm gonna get into it because Maya had never had someone spend time doing something special for just her. This moment shows there are people out there who care about her and her happiness, which ends up changing Maya's perspective on life, something like that. So now in my own words, I explained how that quote of Mrs. Flowers saying, I made tea cookies this morning for you, how that connects to my theme and message choice and how it showcases it. So that's a little model. Um, you're going to be pulling three quotes in total. So if I were you, then I would be going back here and looking again, okay, what's something else that shows compassion? So maybe I could choose Mrs. Flowers reading out loud to Maya and spending that time sharing a story with her that shows compassion and kindness and ultimately ends up changing Maya's world. Um, but it's up to you. You're gonna go in, you're gonna skim, you're gonna find a second quote. Again, pulling in MLA format. So you'll have your lead in, the quote that shows the theme blank and message blank is comma, quotation mark, finding authors where it's dropping it in, get to the NC punctuation, kick it out. And then we have the citation, which is the author's last name, page number in parentheses, period at the end. So this is a nice little model. You can rewatch it if you want to, um, but this is how you're going about completing the assignment called theme and message. And I know why the caged bird sings. Awesome.